Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to go over the brake light system in my 2009 Honda Civic. I'm having a problem with my brake lights. I have none right now. So normally you just pop a couple of bulbs in and you're good to go, but I'm getting no power to the back where the brake lights are. In today's video, I'm going to go over the brake light switch, the fuse, and possible causes, and we're going to get this fixed. Let's get started. You can also check your brake switch by using a scan tool. Just go to ABS, read data stream, select the brake switch, select OK, and there's brake switch, it says off. I just need to push the brake pedal. I've got it pushed and it still says off. It should say on. So let's go check the brake switch. This is your brake switch here. How it works is there's battery voltage on the white wire. And when you push the pedal, this plunger comes out. It completes a circuit. And now battery voltage will go on the green wire and it'll go back to your brake lights to turn on your brake lights. It's also a cruise control switch and the cruise control portion works the opposite on this. So right now these two wires will complete the circuit and then when you push the pedal, it'll break the circuit. So if you have a cruise control and a brake light not working, chances are it's going to be your brake switch but let's test this so let's check our brake switch so the white wire here that comes from the fuse and that should have battery voltage and i'm seeing nothing so let's go check our fuse so the fuse was blown they call it the stop horn and it's located right down here so your horn is not going to work either. Back at the switch, the white wire now should have battery voltage, which is 12.6 volts. And the green wire, this should have nothing until I push the brake pedal. And there it is, battery voltage. That's how the switch should work. So let me show you what the brake switch data should look like on the scan tool. And by the way, this is the ThinkScan BT689 by a company called ThinkCar. This is actually the best scanner I've ever used. I have a full video on this. So I'm just going to go to read data stream. I'm going to click my brake switch again. And we're going to say OK. And there's our brake switch. Right now it's saying off. And now I'm going to push the brake pedal down. And now it's on. Let up. Off. Push it down. And it's on. Now I just want to check everything to make sure everything's good. Got the brake pedal pressed, and it looks like only the right side is working. So let's pull them bulbs and see what's going on. Now, I don't know if the camera's picking this up or not, but there's some parts in here that are actually moving around. And when I go to power it up, watch, watch the sparks. Did you see that? <laughs> we do it again. And that's how that fuse blew. I'm going to order up some bulbs. I'll put links in the description as well as the V500 Pro. I did a full review video on this. I'll put links in the description and also the BT689 scanner I used earlier. Love that tool. I'll put a video link of a review I did in the description. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. As always, Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Don't